Uh, Mr. Chair, I just want to express my concern that um, that um, Ms. Zurowitz is provi deliberately providing disinformation to this committee. That? She's saying that the Canadians get back uh, from the carbon tax more than they pay, but we know that that's simply not true. Deliberate disinformation, Mr. Chair, deliberate disinformation from Liberal MPs at this committee. Deliberate disinformation. It's very, very concerning. The Parliamentary Budget Officer put out a report which makes it very clear that Canadians pay more in carbon tax than they get back. And I would ask you to enforce the rules around truthful testimony at this committee. And uh, one other thing, just, you know, uh, only because Mr. Blakey um, raised this issue uh, with how much uh, the carbon tax contributes to inflation. Now, the bank governor was here saying it contributes 0.6 of a percent to inflation, but that's going to go up by 1.15 on April 1st because of the increase. So it'll be uh, 0.6 plus 0.15. Now, the inflation rate is 3.9 percent, and just recently the governor of the Bank of Canada said he was holding interest rates fast. I would love to ask him next time he's here, and, and, and I will ask him, if the carbon tax didn't exist, the inflation rate would have been then by his own numbers, 3.3 percent. I think at 3.3 percent, he would have reduced rates during the last economic policy report. I'll leave that thought uh, with committee, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you, uh, MP Morantz. I don't have anybody else on the... Okay. Oh, MP Lawrence, I apologize. I'll, I'll be quick. Um, thank you. I just want to just go over carbon tax math. Myself and Governor Macklin have done this a number of times, yet unfortunately it continues to get demagogued and misinformation out there. So I'm just going to do the numbers, and all my numbers will be cited to the Bank of Canada and the Governor, Tiff Macklin. You can look it all up. So currently the rate of inflation in Canada, the headline rate, is 2.9%. Okay. The carbon tax, according to the Governor of Bank of Canada, at its current rate is 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 uh, zero is six is zero point six percent of that. The the uh, increase coming on April first, which is a twenty three percent increase in in the um, uh, in the rate of the carbon tax, will add another zero point one five. If you do the math and you calculate, you divide the numerator by the denominator. That's twenty six percent, according to the Governor of Bank of Canada. This is a nonpartisan office. According to the Governor of Bank of Canada, we could reduce inflation by 26 tomorrow percent by eliminating the carbon tax. And with respect to Mr. Blakey's comment, with respect to who's benefiting from it, well, I can tell him that the most vulnerable in, the, in Northumberland, Peterborough South are barely making it by. There's been a doubling in the usage of food banks by children. And you know who gets hurt by the carbon tax? By people who have to pay. Uh, they, if you can't make it to the end of the month to feed your family? That's a huge issue, Mr. Blakey. It's a huge issue. And the carbon takes is taking tons of money. And we can talk about, conservatives will always be open to reducing taxes. Um, but, uh, and so it's simple math. We could reduce inflation by 26% tomorrow by eliminating the carbon tax.